Today, 17-year-old Vaya Tugamusu, who comes from Waitakere College in Auckland, will be learning how to be a line technician, learning what's required when a power pole needs replacing. She will also be learning about the job of a substation trainee, maintaining Transpower's Pakuranga substation in South Auckland. Training manager Keith Ball will be guiding Vi through her first day. Keith Ball from Electrics, Hello. welcome. Substations are necessary in the electricity supply system to lower voltage for onward distributions into a town. This station drops the power from 110,000 to 33,000 volts. Our job today, Vi, is to carry out a service on the switch. We work in a hazardous environment, not a dangerous environment, because we manage our hazards. Substation trainees carry out inspections and servicing of transformers and a wide variety of high voltage circuit breakers. They might joint high voltage overhead conductors, carry out insulation and voltage breakdown tests, or help install substation earthing and safety bonding systems. At least two people will work on any job. Today's operator is Tracy Farrell, who is responsible for all preparation and safety procedures. To carry out any part of a switchyard maintenance procedure, the operator will go through and isolate and earth, which means putting earth safety precautions in place for us to be able to go near the thing. Then the operator will issue the person with a permit and it's safe to work on. What we need to do via these switches are very heavy because of the 2,400 amps and you need to be able to stand with your feet apart, take your handle in both hands and use your whole body weight to open it with. Feet apart. Well done. The area is declared safe. It's time to head up to the job. Use your brake clean and clean all four faces with your rag. So what can go wrong if I don't clean it? What can go wrong when they're not cleaned is it, it, what actually happens is the switch won't operate correctly. Would you get spot? Yes, you do. It's known for us as Corona. Keith spots a problem on the conductor connected to the switch. This here is a broken braid and needs to be replaced. The fault is logged. That's something for another day. Maintenance work like this is very much part of the job of a substation trainee. They will come out and start inspecting the equipment for switchyard inspections, transformer inspections, compression inspections, fence inspections, disconnector inspections, and if it's not functioning correctly, then we make it function correctly. Regular attention minimises equipment failure, and today there's scheduled maintenance on the 110,000 volt line into the substation. So if you pop that onto the top of that, push it down and pump the handle. This large switch has three linkages that need greasing. So what's that red stuff called? The red stuff is grease, it's a lubricant. Oh, right. What happens there, this insulator turns, and you've now just greased the shaft that goes through connecting this together. So I've greased there, I've greased there, and up in the front. Job done. On the transmission lines connected to the substation, apprentice line mechanic Holly Murphy is working on a job. It's a good job, it's a good job. You meet a lot of new people and stuff like that, and. I really like it. I like the people that I work with as well. So would you like more women in this industry? Yeah, I would love to see more women in the industry. There's only three women in electrics that do like transmission lines, which is high voltage. And the amount of times you get mistaken for a boy is kind of ridiculous. Teamwork is extremely important. And one of the things we find for women who come into the technical and trades roles in our sector is that they enhance the team simply because women socialise men very differently. We find that if we have all males in a team, testosterone levels are higher, attention to detail may be okay, but many women that come into the industry are very safety conscious and they enhance the safety of the team. Well, there's a keen team waiting for Vi in South Auckland, getting ready to replace a power pole. I will cross the way here, number seven, to replace. We've already identified that it's not safe to climb, so obviously we'll be using the bucket for it. Together with Phil Neal of North Power, Vi is now looking at the job of a line mechanic. This is a pole that we're going to be replacing, and it's currently feeding the three houses in behind it here. We've got the crane track coming up to hold the pole, while the bucket truck will then come up there and take the conductors off the insulators so we can pull the pole out and put a new one. Just be careful when you get too much off, because it's going to slip through like this. OK. OK. Chris, ready to come down? The job of a line is to keep the power on for the people. All the low voltage stuff 
we're looking after that. So the service lines into the homes, we are the power poles outside the properties, the street lighting, hot water systems. Um, we do a little bit of everything really. We may be on a pole one minute and we could be down digging in a hole the next minute, but it's all about keeping that power on. As the lines are pulled down, each is clearly identified and tested. So what's the worst that 240 volts could do to you? It can kill you. Oh, okay. that's, that's the worst. <laughs> we wear fire retardant overalls, we're wearing our hard hats, uh, safety glasses at all times, and we're starting now to be issued with um, wearing insulating rubber gloves from ground to ground. The new pole is up, fires help dig it in, and it's time to reattach the original cables. You need to want to work outside, and it's not just on a beautiful day like this. You can be working outside in all conditions. And then just leave the rest like that. You can do the other one as well. You need to be able to think for yourself, but in saying that, you also need to be able to ask if you don't understand. Feel good? good. We're out of here. And maturity is a big one as well. Maturity doesn't come with age. There's a lot of young, mature people out there as well that can identify that when to have a good time and when to get stuck into what they need to do. Once the area is cleared, the power can be turned on. All alive. Last job is to run a test at the meter board of each property. We know that the power is up to the bottom of the main switch, so if we touch it onto a phase, it's indicating there's more than 230 volts there, so that's all good. We then carry on through and we find out where the neutral comes down to a stub, and we check that. And as you can see, there's no voltage on the, on the meter, so the, the power is going through the phase like we want it to. Let's put all that together and turn the main switch on, and the customers can use as much power as they like. She wasn't afraid to get in there and get down and get dirty. Couldn't really ask for anything more than that. She did very well today. From the beginning, I thought it was just, just simple work, but it seems to be more than what it looks like. Anyone can do it, really. It's not a man's job. Girls can do it, too. To become a line mechanic, you will need to do on-the-job training. Maths, English and science are all useful subjects. To become a substation trainee, you will need to be a qualified electrician first. Electricity is the largest sector of the energy industry. There is a shortage of skilled workers, so it's an excellent career option. Women are seriously underrepresented in the industry. Ultimate is an initiative to encourage more women to apply for apprenticeship training. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.